<laughs> uh, yeah, I think it was 10 o'clock. Oh, I'm ready for some. Shout out to Michael Jackson. <laughs> okay, so we actually have a route divergence right here from the start. Great John doing the slightly faster route, going the Pharaoh Man first. Uh, it's a little bit more dangerous because he has to do this this jump over this fairly large gap without any assistance from the from the freezing uh, bright weapon. What's called the, the bright flash stopper? It's, it's the best weapon in the game. It definitely is, and also, um, I'm not sure if he actually does balloon strats though in the upcoming stage. So uh, it'll be. I think he just does this. Uh, this stage first, but we have to see what he does uh, different than uh, than Vines. Yeah, as we can see, Vines here um, taking bright first is a much safer route, but you are you're at the mercy of these grasshoppers. Whether they give you a, a large hop or a small hop is all RNG. And if you get the balloon, which Great John did here in Pharaoh Man, you can actually skip pretty much all of this. But uh. But yeah, I doubt that Great John is going to be doing the balloon strats here as well. But that is an option for Pharaoh first runners. And that's the whole reason why uh, it's about 8 seconds faster, I think, optimally. Yeah, I mean, after uh, pretty much after the second stage, uh, uh, both paths diverge together anyway. So uh, all the time difference would just have to be in the first stage. Yeah, and also having the um, the Pharaoh shot is pretty useful for the Bright Man fight, since uh, we'll see how you can charge the the Pharaoh shot above your head. It's pretty broken as well. So Vanessa Prince is going to want to be very careful with the Bright fight because Bright Man can freeze you, but he only does that at certain health values, and you can avoid that by simply hitting him with. Uh, uncharged lemon uh, somewhere between the first four hits one of them needs to be uncharged and then the rest charged and you'll never be frozen also also keep in mind that uh, our players are going to try to uh, finish off the bosses throughout, uh, throughout the middle of the screen uh, if you hit them off if you kill them off then through the sides you actually end up losing time so they're trying to avoid that yeah, that's because the fanfare that begins where you absorb the power doesn't begin until all of the boss explosion particles leave the screen. So you want them to explode near the middle so that they all get off the screen at pretty much the same time instead of traveling across the entire room. And here we see Vaness uh, taking the easier strat. This is the reason why we do Bright first. Uh, it's actually a lot easier just to freeze everything. Uh, the enemies won't appear and you're able to, ooh, you made the jump, unlike me yesterday. Um, you're able to just avoid everything and just easy slide for the balloons. Yeah, so we just passed a big uh, relieving point, both of them getting the, that jump to collect the balloon upgrade, the balloon item, which is uh, the best utility weapon in this game, even though I got wire in my race. <laughs> And Balloon and Bright Weapon together is kind of unstoppable. You could skip most of the stage, as we'll see. Uh, so yeah, uh, Great John not doing the, the Bright Balloons. No, he didn't even switch to Pharaoh, he's staying on Buster. By now, even um, normal Pharaoh first runners would have Pharaoh equipped. Yeah, I assume the, the first stage change is probably to, I guess, in preparation for when he gets lower times. And then he'll start going for harder strats. So, you know, so I see, I noticed some runners, they go for the uh, harder route first. Yeah, and we can see here that even though the routes diverged at the start, that they have reached the boss, their second boss, at roughly the same, same time. Um, Great John does have the weakness. Well, not. I mean, it, it's, it's 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 the real weakness, isn't it? There's so many soft yeah. weaknesses throughout this game. Okay. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so he has the weakness for bright. So it shouldn't be. Ooh, did he mess up the HP values? Yeah, he did. 
Okay, but he didn't get frozen. He's fine. Yeah, he accidentally hit Sprite Man with an uncharged shot, so that threw off the health values that you want on Bright Man. He, he could have gotten frozen, but luckily the RNG was in his favor. Actually, Toad is the weakness for Bright, if I remember correctly, right? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. We do use that for, for the half of the reef fight. Yeah, that's such a bad weakness. Oh yeah, and if you use that weakness, you you put right at the HP values that get you frozen. Oh, I thought Vanessa was gonna get squished. Okay, and we see some strat differences here. Vanez trying to use the balloons to skip these to skip these room uh, these rooms by damage boosting through the turrets, but having little problems there on that second screen, while Great John just using bright to freeze everything. Balloon is the faster strat if, if you manage to uh, to um, utilize them on the walls, but it, it is a bit tricky because because you're putting it in the wall and they despawn, they pop basically. But even during that popping animation, the hitbox is still there, so you can jump off of it if you're fast enough. And Vanessa is having a lot of trouble. Um, I would have personally opted to have that. Uh, life refill, but he goes for the second one instead. Very nice play. Yeah, he should be okay now. It's, okay, he's not taking a D boost from this mini boss, so yeah, he has more than enough for the rest of the stage. Great John doing good on health himself. He has more than enough to D boost the uh, the last mini boss. Uh, Great John taking a safe. Of course, this is a very dangerous part. Any mistake here and you're gonna be falling into a pit. Yeah, casually these platforms are really scary because they race away underneath you right when you step on them. And <laughs> Vanessa having problems with the worst ladder of the game right there. I think any ladder in Mega Man is the worst ladder. <laughs> Okay, the ring fight is uh, pretty much scripted. It does the same thing as long as you do the same thing. Um, it's a pretty scary fight because using the normal fast strats you get here with just two health, uh, both of them, both of them have enough health to take a ring shot. Vanessa didn't have enough for a body shot, but he he had a much better fight than Great John, so he made up some time there. Yeah, definitely. And the thing that you definitely want to avoid in uh, this game is uh, you want to avoid body contact from uh, the bosses. The bosses actually deal, I think, about eight. Is it eight? Yeah, it's eight, except for Pharaoh. Pharaoh does six, I think, for some reason. And I see some people in the chat voting for ladders to be removed. I second that notion. Remove ladders. Let's let's get the patch. Let's get let's get the ROM hack. <laughs> okay, so yes, both of these runners are going to be using the bright strat here in Dustman stage. Uh, it's it's a very good uh, choice. I, I actually use this this weapon, even though here in the room that Great John is in, uh, it gets really laggy if you're unable to kill these ladybugs as soon as they spawn, uh, just because there's so much things on the screen. Uh, the other option would be Pharaoh shot, and since you can angle your shots with Pharaoh, it's easier to kill those ladybugs right when they spawn. Uh, but still not having any trouble with Vanez making up some time. Uh, Great John actually switches to Buster. Oh, both of them, yeah. I, sw I forgot Vanez. Uh, Vanez is kind of a Buster only runner, so he, had he knows a lot of Buster only strats. So I'm not surprised that he switched to Buster for, for the. Uh, for the crusher rooms, but I didn't know Great John uses the buster here. Yeah, and you can actually see the di difference in how they buster the the the, the room. You can see Vanessa actually making up a lot of time. Yeah, a charged buster shot clears clears out all of the uh, blocks in its way, so it's it's a pretty good weapon to use. And yeah, Vanessa is very comfortable with his Buster strats or his backups if he needs to if he needs to pull them out. Okay, so the dust fight is 
<laughs> There's a lot of RNG involved because at any moment he can give you that suck pattern that he's giving Vines Prince, and during that he is invulnerable. And the only way you can stop him is by taking that body contact damage and giving up eight health. And thus, man, not being very kind to Vines, going for yeah. that double suck. <laughs> Great John had a much better pattern. He didn't get any sucks. All right, and Skullman stage. This is where we get to see the best, in my opinion, of usage of Balloon and Brightman and Bright's weapon together. Okay, Great John is going for the zip here using the balloon. It's a really small zip, but it's but we love it because it's the only zip that we can do in this game. At least yeah. RTA. And we see that Great John has also switched to Buster back. Most runners they're gonna uh, stay on balloon, as you're gonna see Vaness do it, uh, and this will allow him to actually use the balloon to uh, circumvent the ladder. Uh, instead of climbing it, you actually just jump over, and you can actually save a lot of time. So we're gonna see how much time. Uh, Vines can make up over the differentiating stats, so let's see how it goes. Yeah, I love the balloon strats in this stage, especially if you can do the fast ones and avoid damage and move around, get around fast. Because obviously when you have balloon equipped, you can't, you can't fight, you can't shoot any enemies, so you need to find a clever way to, to traverse each room. Oh, and we didn't mention why uh, Brightman, Brightstopper is so good. Um, when you oh no, Vanez, this that's a very that's a very uh, scary jump. jump. That that gets a lot of runners. Yeah, and when you're sliding like that, you usually have enough space to do a little mini slide just before that jump, and it looks like it maybe he was just mistimed. So the reason why the uh, the bright stopper is so good is because it normally freezes enemies or the entire screen for five seconds, but that five second countdown doesn't count down while you're sliding. So if your slide movement is good, the rooms will stay frozen for pretty much the entire time. It's a pretty good gauge of how well you're sliding, how well you're slide chaining. So if uh, you're able to use bright stopper less then that's a good indication that you're actually getting better with your slides, so that's one of the ways you can see your progress. Yeah, here um, in Dive Man stage, you do a lot of jumping, so you kind of have to run down that timer of Bright Stopper running out, but the way it's routed, it works out perfectly because it runs out right when you want to kill a met or, or right when you're transitioning the screen, so it, it, I just love the way this game is routed. Oh, definitely, and and one of the things that uh, you're gonna see them uh, if they're not really comfortable with their slides, you're gonna see them do a lot of walking uh, underwater, and that's because you actually cannot jump out of your slide when you're underwater. So that's one of the things that you need to be careful of, especially in this stage. Yeah, so underwater, if you slide, you're pretty much committed to it, unless you do what's called a slide cancel, which in this game would require you to just turn around and face the other direction during your slide. It is a bit awkward to do when you're going fast. It's not for us. <laughs> oh yeah, not for us who, uh, who run Mega Man 6, the best NES Mega Man game, or er any Mega Man game from the franchise. <laughs> Don't add us, by the way. <laughs> <laughs> Don't send your hate mail. Okay, so back to Mega Man 4. Dive Man. He drills towards you. And Dive Man is actually a pretty easy fight. You, uh, Since he kind of tries to make contact with you throughout the whole process, uh, it's easy just to 
uh, hit him with some skulls. And then I think on the third dive, he shoots him, misses the third dive or second dive? After the second dive, he shoots a missile. So it's a easy Um, I counted by how many hits. I usually, I think it's like the fourth hit. If you're, if you're timing the iframes right, I don't count his, his drills. A great John didn't actually go for the animation skip. There's there's a little animation skip that you can do in Pharaoh and in Dive Man stage, which is getting to the center pixel of the room to avoid Mega Man jumping there and absorbing the power on his own. You want to just be there and make the game think that that the animation is playing already. Let's see if Finesse goes for it. It's a pretty good time save, especially in this water physics. He went for it, but unfortunately he didn't get it. And we're gonna see uh, we see Great John now in the drill level now. Uh, both drill and uh, Toad, you're gonna see a majority of bright strats. So uh, we're gonna see everything frozen for the most part, and uh, a lot of slick maneuvering. So again, this is one of the places where you can see how well you're sliding and how well you're using your bright stopper. Yeah, he did get a oh he got a couple drops for bright, so he, he doesn't have anything to worry in regards with ammo. Uh, that room that he just exited, that's a little tricky because you need to freeze everything as soon as you gain control of Mega Man because those enemies fire on the first frame that, that it's active. So he, doing the, uh, he did that very well. Uh, Venez is making his way through Dive Man. Uh, not Dive Man, but <laughs> Drill Man, even though he dives. And Dive Man drills. So this is the one of the heaviest RNG components of the run. Um, how many dives will Drillman give you? The first one is scripted, then, and you can't do anything about that, but every subsequent one is all RNG. How many seconds do you lose from each dive? Uh, I think it's four seconds. You're losing more if you don't manage to get two shots in each time he comes out, though. And also, you want to be as close to Dive Man as possible when you're shooting your missiles, because sometimes they just go haywire and start uh, going all over the screen and just avoiding their targets. So you don't want to be too far away from when you're shooting these missiles. Yeah, and I actually lost count of how many dives he got because that was just terrible. That was so many dives. And uh, you can actually kind of manipulate the pattern you get by staying close to the to the bosses. So they say. Apparently proximity is a thing. Okay, so Venez Prince getting a much better pattern. So he made up uh, quite a bit of time there. And for Toad Man stage, it's actually, you're gonna see pretty much everyone cruising by, but uh, there's a lot of tough jumps, uh, especially during the first transition screen because you have actually have the wind pulling against you. So you wanna make sure you get those full jumps in. Anything less than that, and you probably end up falling into the pit. Yeah, and this room right here is pretty dangerous too because a lot of these rats are right at the edge of the ledges. And if they give you a drop, that'll eat your jump input because, of course, you're about to jump and you'll go right down the waterfall, which is actually pulling you down. So there's so many things working against you, trying to just pull you into pits. And, of course, we have the mini boss, uh, Gary the Snail. Have you ever seen him? <laughs> if you ever didn't press your flash stopper fast enough, um, there's actually a mini boss snail. But since uh, we use the flash shopper, we just uh, take the impact damage and then we just uh, uh, circumvent that. Yeah, we didn't get to talk too much about the the dive man mini boss, but there's so many mini bosses that you can skip with throughout this whole game. Well, we definitely have time. This is the best uh, best two out of three. So we definitely will see Dive Man again in this environment. And uh, Great John getting the 
the Toad Kill. Uh, Toad Man is actually a very easy boss. Uh, pretty much, he's just gonna jump at you, and if you manage to shoot him, he won't attack you. He'll just jump around. So you pretty much have it easy with um with Toad. And great John having a sub 20 robos. This is a uh, 39 pace at least. So this is really good pace for him. Oh, uh, uh, we didn't even mention their PVs. Uh, great John's current PV is a 41 23, and Vanessa Prince is a 40 46. Uh, but that's an offline PB. He hasn't submitted it yet, but uh, he did. He did get that PB recently. We're up to the cost. Yeah, so we're at Cossack 1 now, and um, we're going to be dealing with Ice Physics. Uh, RF, you want to talk about your experience with this stage's Ice Physics? Oh my god. Um, so Ice Physics, um, I actually don't know what happened yesterday. So apparently, if you, uh, if you slide and you turn the other way, so you kind of ha have a whiplashing effect where you're actually still going in the direction you were previously going. I mean, that's what I experienced, and I don't understand why my jump input got in as well, so... <laughs> Ice is very tricky in Mega Man games. Yeah, in this room here... Oh, Great John's actually using the, uh, the Bright Stopper strat. So this is... Uh, it's a... It's slower than the Buster, but it is a lot safer because you don't have to deal with those enemies popping out of the ground. And of course, these Skull Joes are frozen in place. Okay, now he's switching to balloons, so we should be seeing the traditional strats for the for the rest of the way. Uh, this climb is pretty dangerous. You want to use your balloons in a way that that lets you uh, go vertical and horizontal, well, diagonal as fast as possible. Okay, not taking any D boost there. I like that. Of course, we're gonna D boost on the stomper here. And throughout the castle stages, we're going to be using a lot of dust and rings, so we really need to watch our ammo, because our ammo does not refill between stages from this point on. And that's very important when you're fighting bosses like Mothraya here, who has a very tiny hitbox. And from what I understand, the, the weapon, the ring weapon is actually has a small hitbox as well, right? Yeah, the ring box only has one pixel as a one pixel hitbox, despite its big sprite. Oh, Ooh. Venice! Yeah, that that was very scary. He almost fell. He got he got a, an extra screen transition was bad enough, which is bad enough in this game because screen transitions are really slow in Mega Man Four. But at least he didn't fall to into the pit. What can you tell us about the deaths in the Cossack stage? <laughs> okay, well, in the second half of this entire game, there are no checkpoints here in the uh, the boss corridors. So if you die to the boss, or if you die anywhere um, after, well, yeah, in the boss, um, you get sent back to the mid checkpoints, the middle point of the stage, which is a huge time loss, especially when there are auto scrollers. Hey, great John doing the rush jet strat. Vanessa being very careful. You don't definitely want to take a death here. You get sent back all the way back to where the skulls are at, so it's a very tough death if you take one there. Okay, so Great John using a mixture of Rust Jet, Balloon, and Buster strats here in Cossack too. That's very interesting. Normally it's just a Balloon then to dust, which is the weakness that you only equip just to fight the, uh, the boss. Vanessa also opting to go to the right side with Buster, uh, I believe since he actually had to use a lot of extra balloons in the first stage, and now switching. Yep. Okay, so this boss is another heavy RNG part. Uh, the square machine can choose to to come by, uh, to run past the screen up to three times before it is before its hitbox is available for for any damage. So uh, great job getting some. Wait, was that a two three? I know this was a three. I missed the first one. 
Okay, yeah, it was a 2 3. Yeah, I'm. Okay, but he managed to do the two cycle fight, so that's still still pretty good. Yeah, definitely. Um, normally, if you were to deboost uh, the normal way, you wouldn't have enough uh, health to take a lot of deboost. But taking deboost would actually make it easier for you to hit the hitbox as well. So, but he kind of okay, so he, he had kind of like a uh, regular luck on that. A two three is pretty common. Uh, let's see how Venez does. He has plenty of health, so he can deboost as much as he wants. Ooh, he gets five hits in the very nice. Two, three as well. Yeah, so the same RNG, but I feel like he had a better stage and a better boss fight, so I think he made up some time there. Uh, unfortunately, Cossack 1 was a bit of a struggle, so he, he might just uh, be just as far as he was earlier. And, uh, okay, so both of our runners are now in Cossack 3. This is our uh, auto-scroller stage, so it's, it's pretty boring. <laughs> Uh, there, there are ways to optimize it, and most of that involves just a lag reduction, getting things off screen as fast as possible, and not doing buster music, which makes it even more boring. <laughs> and you definitely don't want to take a death here, so taking a death here, you start, you know, all the way back, and since this is an auto scroller, you pretty much are uh, left with the time that is given you, so. Even taking a death in the beginning, you could lose up to upwards of 20 seconds or more. Yeah, this is probably the most punishing stage to take a death in, especially at the boss. Uh, for the second half, we're going to see what Great John is doing uh, with Pharaoh. You can charge it above your head and kill things with that, and that doesn't use any ammo. And if you kill something that has a lot of HP, that actually absorbs the entire shot, you still have a charged shot saved up even though you can't see it above your head. It's great. It's such a broken weapon. Ooh, that's a scary jump that great John did. I've, I've never seen people... <laughs> uh, yeah. Regard uh, that. Yeah, I've never seen people go for that. Maybe he had some problems with the last platform going off screen. It's a very different fight also. So there there is a way to to kind of use that charge shot above your head to hit these cockroaches faster and also use uh, less ammo. Uh, but we didn't see that fight with Great John. He did it really safe by just staying on that first platform you enter on. But um he might, I guess he's going to pick up ammo for his Pharaoh shot. Yes, uh, that's definitely the safety thing to do. Pharaoh is actually very important. You will need it later on. And yep, I assume, I assume uh, they will be going for the refill most of the time. Okay, it looks like Venez is going for the faster fight. As you can see, he hits the first cockroach with that last shot, and it also hits the second cockroach as it enters the room. Uh, looks like he accidentally hit it with a charge, uh, with an uncharged shot, so he did use a little bit extra ammo, but still a much better fight than Great John. And we see Great John going for the E tank. It's actually a relatively Easy tank to get. You probably don't even lose that much time on it, so uh, it's just to have. It's just good to have a little bit of extra safety just in case things go wrong, especially in refights and uh, possibly in the final fight, boss fight as well. Yeah, that's a good E tank to consider, especially since you already have drill equipped and you dr you need drill to uh, explode that wall. Okay, so in the Dr. Cossack fight, uh, 
just like a lot of other things in this game, when you're sliding, things don't happen. So when you're sliding, Dr. Cossack doesn't move, so you can actually manipulate his position. Once he's in a place, hor a horizontal space that you want him to stay at, just slide, and it'll be very tough for him to get out of that spot. Uh, eventually, you want to hit him and get to the left side of the screen, because Mega Man needs to go there anyway for this cutscene. So that's why we see runners rush to the left side with that finishing shot. Despite the death and a lot of mishaps, uh, Vanessa is actually pretty close behind. So uh, Great John would really have to uh, consider his pace as well, because any death would certainly uh, tip the scales in, in Vanessa's favor at this point. Yeah, I actually think that it could even up right here in the next stage, Wily 1. Um, how they, how well they do the stage, and how well they handle the boss fight. Yeah, Wily One is like uh, considered like sort of like a paper cut stage, right? It's not really, it's not really a lot of death opportunities, but just a lot of possible mistakes you can make uh, with uh, all these different types of mets. Yeah, I mean I've died here on PB pace underwater. I hate that. I used to hate that room, but it's it's a lot better now. By the way, guys, press 1 if you're a Mets fan. I don't assume I, I'll see too many ones anyway. Yeah, I don't, I don't expect any ones. <laughs> because in this stage, there are nothing but Mets. A uh, Met is the only enemy. And, spoiler alert, a giant Met is the boss. <laughs> one except dancing Mets. Yeah, so this game has those... Well, I... Um, my brother and I, we call them the Fabulous Mets. Like, they spin around and dance, and they like do this twirl. And they take three three hits to kill. So it's it's pretty pretty different. And there's a bunch of them in this stage. I used to call on the Happy Mets, because they always look happy. Ooh, and Great John missing the... Great John missing the... the the jet with the yokus or the kosus, whatever the kosis. <laughs> yeah, let's just call them yokus. Okay, see right here, these last two spinning mets—they're probably the worst. Meanwhile, in Mega Man Five, there are these things called the stone mets. <laughs> I don't. It's a met with three baby mets inside. That is undeniably worse than the spinning mets. You've heard it. You heard it here. And what can you tell us about the pattern that uh, the big uh, Metal Daddy does? Um, so I don't know the exact uh, duration, but the amount of time that he stays closed and the amount of time that he stays open is all RNG. Of course you want him to open up fast and you want him to stay open as long as possible. And that looked like a pretty good fight. That was a three, three cycle, I believe. Yes, that was a pretty clean fight. Okay, so I don't think um, that, that that was a pretty decent stage. Oh, and Vanessa having some tough luck with the Fabulous. And I think that uh, Metal Daddy has different jumps, right? He'll give you the short jump sometimes, and he'll give you uh, big jumps as well. Um, I yeah, yeah, <laughs> that's true. <laughs> Let, let's just so I think, I think I think he'll give you uh, long jump patterns uh, where you can actually shoot him a little bit more before before he closes up and the short jumps is the ones where uh, as you saw there uh, pretty much you only have about three or four hits if you're lucky on the fourth one okay yeah I knew I knew like the amount of time him staying open was RNG but I didn't know that it had anything to do with how high he jumps and yeah, Vanez having a little bit of a problem with him, having the, uh, the fourth cycle. But not too bad, he just needed him to open for one final shot. So over here in Wily 2, uh, we use Rush Jet because we're pretty much out of Balloon by now. And we also need to be able to shoot things, so it's a pretty good option. Yeah, and runners also have to keep in mind that they have to actually uh, release Jet first before they can actually shoot their Buster, so that's one of the things that uh, you have to be mindful of. Yeah, a lot of times you might be mashing your heart out, but 
not so many lemons might be coming out because you're actually you need to spawn rush jet first. And there's a lot of interesting rush jet strats because um, rush jet up just appears under your position if you take a hit while jet is is out. Um, oh yeah, and on this fight here, on the Taka Trash, uh, for some reason this boss is completely broken. You can remove his hitbox if you hit him with a drill bomb, and then just stand inside of him and get free shots with the ring. And we'll hopefully see Benes do the same thing. It's actually uh, a pretty simple strat. Yeah, and there's also another strat. Uh, that we forgot that we didn't get to mention, but Venez should do it here, and that is entering the boss fight with the Toad Flush on. And when you enter the boss room with a jump, you still have control of Mega Man, so you have the ability to to fire a shot. And what that does is it hits the boss while his HP is filling, and that just skips the animation of his HP filling because that is very slow, and it only works on this boss for whatever reason. And we're in the refights now, so uh, again, ammo conservation is very important, uh, especially with uh, you using dust in the first, um, the first two bosses. Uh, we use dust for Pharaoh because uh, it's his soft weakness, and also um, it's actually a lot faster to kill him with dust than, than it is with Buster. Yeah, or Bright Stopper, which is his real weakness. Because that's basically a lemon, a lemon worth of damage. So uh, the route recently changed, and uh, there's a faster way of doing the refights. But um, we're probably going to, to see the, uh, the the regular way from both of these runners, which is pretty fancy in itself because there's a lot of uh, soft weaknesses being used on on bosses, so you're going to see one weapon used on one boss and used on the next boss. And this this boss with Toad is coming up is very tricky. Uh, what you want to do is you want to have uh, before you enter his weakness part, you want to hit him with about five ball shots. And he got it. And he'll be switching the toad just to finish him off. And the five skulls will actually keep him off his freezing face as well, so... He'll just be jumping about. And also you want to end these boss fights while Mega Man is already on the teleporter, so you don't have to actually walk or slide there while the boss is exploding. Because those boss explosions are extremely laggy, so you want to just be able to teleport out as soon as they're gone. Ooh, great John, not having a lot of luck with uh, Di uh, <laughs> Dive Man, uh, Drill Man in this, uh, at least in this first match. Uh, also, one of the reasons why we actually keep Toad, uh, Toad Flush afterwards, is because you can actually hit Drill Man uh, as soon as he dives. And you can still take off that one damage you'll need after hitting him with his weakness. Yeah, so we'll see how Venez's RNG looks when he enters the Drillman fight right now after Brightman. <laughs> that is the interesting thing about Drill and Dive Man. So Drill dives and Dive Man drills. <laughs> that is right. Very good Pharaoh by uh, John. Yeah, that ring fight is a little tricky because it's different from the stage fight. So you do have to learn two different fights to, to manage ring. Um, and that's just because in the ring refight, you can't enter the fight with a charged fair shot. Ooh, ring bro. Dust bro? <laughs> Dust bro. With, hit him with the ring bro. 
All right, and Dustman, um, being the last Robo, you, you kill him with Ring, and that is the weakness for the first phase of the Wily Machine here. And everyone's favorite sound. And right before you kill him, right before you, you finish that last HP of the first phase, you want to switch to Drill and hit him with Drill. And for whatever reason, the lag or something makes the HP filling of the second phase skip. And that saves a bunch of time. And Drill is also the weakness for the second phase, so you might as well do it. Yeah, I actually have that sound on my alarm, so every time I have, wake up, I just wake up to that sound of the ring hitting Wily. That can't be healthy. <laughs> it's not, but it wakes me up. Alright, so Vanessa approaching the the Wily Machine and of course uh, we have we have Great John approaching the final uh, Wily boss. Yep, so he just needs to get through this corridor, which is a little tricky to go as fast as possible in. But he did that he did that okay. And now and, he's and going to quit. the lead, he, he he actually still has to be careful because uh, we've seen a lot of runs uh, end or close to ending with a uh, bad wildly capsule. Ooh, getting the double hit as well. And great finish by John. Yeah, so that's that's the PB at least at least based on his his leaderboard times. His leaderboard shows the leaderboard shows a forty one twenty three. Okay, yes, he's saying that's an actual PB. So GG to great John. A real PB in a race that that actually happens for some people. <laughs> that actually happens to some people. And Vanessa approaching the final boss as well. Yep, and like RF was saying, it is pretty scary because if you run out of Pharaoh, um, your only other option is Ring, and that only does one damage. And if you're out of that, which most likely you're pretty low with, um, there's nothing you, nothing else you can do any damage to Wily with. You have to take a, a death, you probably have to game over to refill your weapons, or farm those worms outside. And GG okay. to Vanessa as well. GG Venez. Looks like he's finishing up with the official SRL with, uh, wait, what does that say? 42.41. Don't you hate it when the SRL is so far off from their actual split times because that dot done is impossible? <laughs> You know, a lot of times I think uh, runners just forget. You know, they're just happy the run is over and then, oh, that done, forgot. That forgot. Definitely, that's a good tip. Uh, uh, Papa is saying that if uh, one of the things you can do is just to have uh, that done already pre-typed so that when you finish your run, all you have to do is really just press enter and you're good. So definitely a mindful tip for all you SRL runners. In before you accidentally send it. Okay, so we're gonna let our runners um, just have a brief break before they entertain us some more with Mega Man 4 races. <clears throat> and uh, yeah, that was that was a pretty close race. But not even a full stage difference. Yeah, this uh, Mega Man 4 definitely um, you're gonna see a lot of. Uh, chances to come up or to lose leads based on uh, uh, even if you're having two close runners uh, the RNG can differentiate and actually make a difference in this game
Yeah, and with that PB, I think that brings their, their difference less than 15 seconds apart. Uh, the 4101 that Great John just got compared to Vanessa's offline 4046. So yeah, both of these runners approaching 39, 39 territory. Uh, pretty, pretty fast. But Vanez only picked this up, I think, for the tournament. Um, he was running a Buster only, so he does know th a thing or two. Also, keep in mind this is the final, um, uh, final match of the Kalinka Cup. Uh, the final finished yesterday, which I, that's the only thing I'm gonna say about the final <laughs> for myself. Um, <laughs> but yeah, uh, this is the. Uh, this is the battle for third place, and of course, uh, yep. And, the final, yeah. the the finals <laughs> was yesterday between you, resisting frame, and waiter, and uh, waiter did take first place in the Kalinka Cup, and you are runner up. Yeah, definitely. Uh, GG's again to waiter. Um, it was a very good. Uh, he had a very good race, and uh, apart from me, but um. Yeah, definitely. Um, you know, this tournament has been a lot of fun, starting from all the way from the heats, uh, starting all the way from the heats, and uh, seeing a lot of top runners compete, and still continue to in the Cossack Cup as well. So uh, there's still a lot to look forward to. And yeah, don't mind my saltiness, guys. I'm I'm a salty guy. Yeah, you, he already quit this game. He's not playing this game anymore. He even deleted the ROM off of his computer. <laughs> <laughs> Mega Man 4 what? <laughs> so my legacy collection goes uh, uh, Rockman 1, 2, 3, 5, and 6. Okay, it looks like we're starting up again. So, GL again to both of these runners. Yeah, so we're gonna see again. Um, uh, so, this being a best uh, two out of three, uh, we're gonna see how each runner approaches each race. Oh, and Vanessa taking taking an early death. So, what happens is usually you feel un unnecessary pressure uh, from from running multiple times so um, you're gonna see uh, which uh, runner actually is more composed and which ones uh, you know you're gonna see a lot of safety strats as well yeah Vanez currently um, being 0 to 1 he's got to feel like the pressure and great John I don't know if he feels comfortable now or if he feels even more pressure now that he's ahead uh, it's really tough to say Definitely, and uh, sometimes it could even be that you're too comfortable. Oh, you s this is what we we're talking about. <laughs> Taking a <laughs> death on the spikes. Yeah, it's so easy to take a death on those spikes because you want to land on those platforms in a very specific way. But um, it's very easy to tiptoe. And even though you're on it, once the platform begins to move, you'll just fall right off. But you can actually neutral slide. Doing neutral slides actually won't uh, buck you off the platform. Yeah, and uh, those platforms, as well as the grasshoppers here in Brightman stage, they make these two stages feel like auto scrollers to me. And honestly, like that's the <laughs> that's the most appealing thing to bright balloons, in my opinion. Just cut out any kind of auto scroller feeling. And definitely RNG because uh, if you keep getting uh, short grasshoppers, then uh, it definitely becomes problem uh, problematic later on. Yeah, and we can see here that both of their early deaths kind of evened out. They are on their boss fights at around the same time, so we'll see who has a better Buster fight. Both of these bosses jump around a lot, uh, but Brightman is a longer stage, so I would. Well, yeah, I guess it's pretty even. 
Um, yeah, and again, Great John did not go for the animation skip since uh, Pharaoh Man's boss room has the, that mound in the center. You actually have enough uh, height to jump to the center of the of the room to skip the, the the absorption of the power. But but yeah, he didn't go for it, even though he had the pixel. And uh, once again, keep in mind that uh, at, at least from what we based on the first race, um, even though Greyjohn did do Pharaoh first, uh, he's gonna circumvent going for the balloons and uh, try to. I think he busters his way uh, towards Sprite Man stage. Yeah, he keeps Buster equipped all the way until the boss. He doesn't use Pharaoh or balloon. And we see Vanessa here using the comfy bright strats in the desert so he doesn't have to worry about those scorpions coming out of the coming out of the sand. Or the flies overhead. <clears throat> also, since we're in the topic of uh, using uh, the power shot and everything, um, one of the things that we didn't mention is kind of like a backup strategy in case you're ever low on Pharaoh. Um, is where you simply just charge the Pharaoh shot, and uh, if an enemy touches the top, uh, the top part of the Pharaoh shot, and if you don't shoot it, you actually don't lose any ammo. Yeah, so you can just uh, pause and then unpause and start charging all over again, and not use any ammo this way. It's, it's a really good backup tactic to take out Wily at the very end when you're desperate. And we've all been there. We've all been there. Alright, so both players are approaching the boss fights now. Yep, and Venez is going to have another buster fight while Great John uses the arrow shot to hit Brightman as fast as possible while avoiding the HP values that cause him to use his Bright Stopper attack. Alright, so that was a synced explosion. It looked like Venez had a closer one towards the center, so his fanfare will begin slightly earlier. And uh, he didn't get the animation skip either, but he is slightly ahead. I believe Vanessa does have some, uh, is able to make up some time as he does do the balloon strats in, in Ringman at the beginning, and I believe uh, Great John will opt for Bright. And Vanessa having a much better time here using the, the balloon strats this time around. Uh, yeah, this last one's pretty tricky. It's kind of hard not to take another hit there. Is it RNG? Okay, I, I wouldn't, I wouldn't, I wouldn't say that was... Is it RNG? Yeah, it's RNG whether those turrets shoot or not. And it's RNG whether or not they give you a one, two, or three shot pattern. But is there a one shot pattern? There might only be a two shot or a three shot pattern. It might be. It feels like they always shoot. Or at least that one does. Right. That turret is so annoying. <laughs> okay, um, oh, Vanez missing the charge shot. Missing again, that's very bad. Great John doing the faster strat, which is the D-boost. I don't know if he did that in the first race. Mm, I don't recall either. I don't think so, because he actually had more health. He actually had a lot of health coming up to this uh, section, so... Yeah. If you do all the fast strats in this stage, you reach Ringman with exact ammo and only two HP, uh, two HP left. Uh, yeah, looks like they're doing it a bit safe here. Uh, does Vanessa have enough ammo for? <laughs> oh, oh, he does not. <laughs> He's one shot shy. If he does all of his charge shots above his head properly, he's one shot shy. So he might 
Well, he's probably just gonna go to his Buster Strat since he knows them so well, instead of trying to do the the charge on the pausing trick. So we might see Great John steal the lead again here. Oh, oh, oh! So close! Oh, good. So close by uh, John getting. <clears throat> almost taking a death. You definitely don't want to take a death with uh, Ringman because you actually have solo barrel left over. So this is what we want to see. We, we want to see lead changes. Every stage. Let's go. <laughs> if there's a lead change happening, it usually happens in Dust Man. Yeah, that's true. And that's not even all because of the RNG, because it's a really tough stage. So, Ring and uh, Dustman stage are the really reset heavy points early on. Uh, you feel really relieved once you're out of Dustman. At least I do. Oh, definitely. Especially after dealing with both uh, the lag room and and uh, what do you call the second the pressure room? The pressure room. Both are very tough rooms and both are easy to die in uh, if you're not careful uh, mitigating the lag. Yeah, it looked like Venez uh, navigated that room a little bit better and managed the lag, so he caught up. And now we are perfectly synced for Buster Strats in the crusher room. Let's go. Oh, yes, oh. and we, yeah, he didn't clear out that column in time. He did have enough space to slide through, but unfortunately he didn't slide at the appropriate time. So that's a pretty tough death, because that's a really long room to do again, and he was near the end of it. Yeah, I guess he felt the pressure that I'm this... <laughs> Got him! <laughs> oh man, I think my punts are worse than Toad's. And Vanessa getting actually a better pattern from Dustman this time around and also killing him in the middle, so it's actually gonna save some time. We definitely still have a lot of race to go. Yeah, there's so much more to this um, for this game to mess up either player, just with difficulty and RNG. Ooh, Great John having a bad dust pattern. Was that three sucks already? Yeah. He has enough health for another D boost, but he's choosing not to do it. You kind of want to be careful. Definitely, if you take uh, unnecessary damage and then take an extra hit, then that will lead to a death. So. Taking the safe route. So again, here in Skullman stage, we're going to see the best of both worlds, which is Balloon and Brightman, Brightstalker weapon. As you can see, Balloon just hoists you up faster to get onto plat platforms. And you can spawn it inside of a wall. And while it's exploding, you can still jump on it, so it's less laggy to do it that way. And you can avoid these ladders that we hate so much. Vanessa hoping for a health drop from Eddie, and uh, Eddie didn't oblige. Yeah, Eddie's never clutch. <laughs> um, there's, still, there's still some health pickup that he can take if he's feeling unsure. Uh, towards the end of the boss corridor. Yeah, Skullman is entirely um, manipulated fight because he reacts to your input. So he should be fine if, if he knows how to manipulate him. And he's at the health where he can't take a... 
he can't take a, sh a shot hit, or yeah he can't take any hit and there is slight oh, oh yeah oh he jumped slightly too soon so the so the shot went up Or maybe he didn't mean to bait a shot. Maybe he was trying to get a different pattern. Because like I said, every single pattern is uh, is based on your input. The only part that's so... RNG is his shield, the, the duration of his shield. And that's really good RNG for his shield to drop that fast. Yeah, and uh, Sk uh, Skullman is a pretty interesting boss because you can actually enter the Skull. Uh, the skull boss room and leave your controller hanging. He's not gonna do a thing as soon as you enter. Yeah, you could just have the uh, infinite stare down. Just never press a button, and Skull Man will never do anything. So that death uh, allowed Great John to make up some time. Inez is still in the lead. And since we're here, uh, now that we're back at dive, we can actually talk about the whales. We didn't really talk about the whales last time. Uh, there should be one coming up soon. Yeah, so the whales are the mini boss in dive man stage. And just like other mini bosses in this game, you can use the bright stopper to freeze him before, before you even need to look to see what they look like. Um, we do shoot him down. But you are uh, capable of jumping over it if you use the balloon, because the wall that prevents you from getting to the other side is, is I think, only as high as the screen. But you can actually jump off screen using the balloon and get above it. But it is faster to just stay on bright and mash him down. And a lot of runners have like different timings on when they pause. Uh, some elect to do really short jumps and uh, mash, and others elect to uh, have really long jumps and just have a longer mash period. Yeah, that's true. You can see Great John really holds on to the freeze until kind of the last moment. The the whale even appears. You can you can see the sprite of the whale. Okay, and again, the uh, the dive fight, pretty easy to do. The only thing that's scary is since you're using that skull barrier, it is a proximity weapon, so you have to stay up close to dive man, who's constantly coming at you at pretty fast speeds. Okay, Vinez not getting the animation skip. Uh, Great John, that doesn't look like the pixel, so yeah. Okay, so now we're on to Dive Man 2.0. The real Dive Man. Will the real Dive Man please sit down and go home? <laughs> go away. So, um, again, we're going to be using Bright Stopper to get through this entire stage without having to fight as uh, uh, too many enemies. We just want to kill the ones that are in the way and stop everything else from hopefully even appearing. Like these ladybugs, they actually have another hitbox, which is their propellers on their head. And it, it becomes really laggy if they manage to shoot them up. And Vanessa having uh, tough luck with the uh, with the turrets, and oh, also John as well. Yeah, both of them weren't able to freeze the screen right when they entered, so those turrets were able to fire their shot, and that makes it a, a little more tricky to get up to that ladder.
people and Vaness is uh, out of right. Okay, he knows the backup, so that's good. You can use Skull Barrier to uh, forego those, those falling boulders. Uh, that did allow Great John to catch up quite a bit because he had to do another menu. And we're gonna see what uh, Drill Man does. Who is he gonna give the advantage to? If any. Yeah, so that first dive is scripted, can't do anything about that, but everything after that is all RNG. And Great John getting another dive almost immediately. Venez, Venez getting the god no pattern, dive. no dives. No dives with and the center And getting in the middle as well. Yeah. Nice. So that, that definitely helped his lead. And we can see how much of a time difference that is. So they entered at the same time and... And it's about a six, seven, well, actually almost close to eight second difference after the fight. So uh, definitely RNG playing a factor currently right now. Yep, and we do have to face him again in the refight, so it can flip flop. And again, it's a four second time loss every time Drillman dives. At least four seconds. Okay, so again, we're here at Toadman stage, which is a pretty difficult stage. It's, it's really hard to navigate uh, fast. We can see Great John doing it a bit safe, not doing all the slides here in that first room. Oh, Venez got the drop of death. He got the little drop right at that ledge there, which has killed so many runs. But he luckily uh, reacted fast enough. Yeah, I think he opted not to slide, uh, which actually gave him a little bit more reaction time to to jump after the, the health pickup. Yeah, and you can't even see those drops because the waterfall is covering it, so it makes it even more scary. Yeah, you pretty much only have uh, the, the half second that it shows up after, like, uh, after you kill the enemy, but afterwards you can't see it, so... If you're not paying attention, it's flat. Okay, so we should be seeing our runners uh, get out of eight robots in under 21 minutes, which is, of course, uh, a lot slower than, than what they might have hoped, given those early deaths. But after those first deaths in the first stage, they, they really picked up the pace. Yeah, definitely. We're seeing more smoother running. And I just think sometimes when you're running, uh, it's always the first stage that gives you the jitters, like for the most part. And, and I think, uh, you know, it's just a matter how well you shake off uh, that first stage and then the rest should feel uh, uh, smooth until you mess up again. <laughs> if you mess up. And there's plenty of opportunities for messing up in the Cossack stages. So many pits and so many spikes. Okay, so the Cossack stages are definitely not trivial. Um, Great John is going to be doing a safer strat using the Bright Stopper. So he does have an extra menu, but he shouldn't have to worry about those... I don't know what you, what we call those enemies that come out of the ground in the Skull Joe room. Um, but they're annoying. <laughs> I didn't even know they were enemy. I thought it was just a uh, UFO. They're un unidentified. Okay, so we can see the comparison of the normal Buster strats versus the Bright Stopper strats here in this room. Uh, as you can see, if you do your jumps at, at the appropriate uh, position, you can jump over all of them coming out of the ground, coming out of the pits. Both of them doing the despawn on that last Skull Joe. And switching to Bright for this final climb. Okay, and we're no sync almost. 
So yeah, they're not sliding on Balloon. They're doing it pretty safe. Uh, Vanessa Prince doing the D-boost on that last ladder squishy thing. <laughs> we have amazing names for the enemies. Up and downs. <laughs> Okay, so like we mentioned last race, the hitbox of the ring weapon is only one pixel, despite that gigantic sonic ring that you throw out. And that we have that was a synced kill, almost. Almost. I believe uh, John had a faster kill. All right, and we're so. Gonna we're gonna see if Vanessa actually, um, before he wasn't able to go for the strat, uh, because he had a hard time in Cossack with the, the first Cossack. We're gonna see if he goes for the balloons in the. Oh, nice, he's going for it. Oh, mm -hmm. man. Yeah. Uh, is he, I think he's gonna go for the refill down there. No, he's gonna keep going. Okay. Oh, and Great John choosing... Oh, yeah, yeah, he, he used the Rush Jet last run. Okay. Yeah, he uses Rush Jet, and Benez uses Balloons. Yeah, so Great John is going to be menuing quite a bit in this stage, from Jet to Buster, then to Dust. And Venez should be staying on Balloon, and then to... to oh, man. Mm. Yeah, screen trans extra extra screen transitions. Very smart, holding on to his balloon ammo to get through this remaining room. Opting to go for the health pickup. Uh, yeah, trying to be very safe with the boss instead. Yeah, Great John with his strats coming here with almost full health. So even though Great John had a suboptimal route, he still managed to get to the boss faster. Ooh, and he got a one for the first for the first cycle. And Benez gets a two. So RNG kind of helping Great John right now. They say luck is the skills. And Great John should be taking. Nope, he's gonna. Oh yeah, he's gonna have a three, a three cycle. So at what was that a two, a one two, versus a two yeah. three? Come on. Oh, Venez, your health. Oh, oh, that was very oh, scary. Very clutch jump. And once again, we're almost synced up. That third cycle actually cost uh, Great John a lot of time, so um, Vanessa was able to. Yeah, that Vanessa was a really clutch fight by Vanessa, and and he, yeah, he managed to hold on to his lead since Great John wasn't able to finish him off in this in the two cycles. Oh my God, my heart almost popped out on that jump that he did. I thought he wasn't gonna make it. Yeah, yeah, and I think there were some drop frames that just made it even more suspenseful. Yeah, definitely. If you, if you had like a hard time in Cossack 1 uh, and 2 and you're nervous a little bit down, it's okay because this auto scroller time this is where you get a breather, not many enemies flying at you. Uh, you do want to take out the turrets as fast as possible, uh, usually as soon as they pop up, because they, they do tend to lag the screen a lot. But other than that, uh, you shouldn't have much problem uh, with this uh, auto-scroller. But it, it does tend to uh, lull runners to sleep, as I've experienced many times before. And if you miss time shooting those, those turrets as they appear, it, it gets a little hard trying to kill them afterwards because because they are invincible pretty much unless they shoot again and it's kind of hard timing that so um, even though we're synced uh, 
we saw in race one that Great John does the boss fight extremely safe by staying on the left side of the boss room. If he does that again, well, we might see Venez take the lead a little bit, a little bit now. I can't believe that how synced this is in the auto scroller. Yeah, well, this is very, it's very fun to watch. It's like almost watching a mirror. Especially when they're doing the same movements. They're doing like double jumps and waiting in the yeah. same spots. <laughs> We're gonna see Great John probably go for that really tough jump. Alright, it's so scary! Oh! <laughs> that jump is so scary. <laughs> yeah, I, he's the only person I've ever seen do that. Okay, Venez did the moonwalk while Great John did not, so. So Venez won. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, so we can see here that Vanessa got that early shot on the second cockroach right when he spawned, so he should have a better fight. Um, it actually turned out the same way because he didn't finish the second cockroach uh, using the fast strat. Yeah, I believe he actually uh, mischarged one of the shots. He let it off too early. So we're back to sync battles. And even though they're called cockroaches, they really don't look like cockroaches to me. They look more like a cricket. I'm trying to think of what they look like. <laughs> <laughs> they just look dumb. <laughs> they look like Dr. Cossack's failed... Uh, what do you call that grabber game? The I have no idea. <laughs> the claw, the claw game. The price claw game. And we all know that those games are rigged. Those claws suck, they can't grab anything. The crane games. I don't know, Toy Story, they called them the claw. Toy Story logic. And we're synced up again. Yeah, I noticed Great John walks down those stairs. Um, pretty sure, yeah, that, that, pretty sure that's slower. Even though you can go downward faster because your horizontal hitbox is so much longer when you're sliding. Since you need to get to the other side of the screen, it's definitely better to slide. Yeah, yeah, on that last one you want to jump off and get your falling falling speed up. Okay, so both of our runners, yeah, this is a pretty weird weird fight. Okay, great John. Oh! <laughs> Venez managed to get to the left, but he thought he didn't have the correct HP value on Doc Dr. Cossack, so he went back. You only need to get Dr. Cossack down to 2 HP to finish the fight. And Venez just had control of Mega Man for so long that he thought that he, he needed to shoot him again. Is there any difference between the Japanese version and the English version? Um, I No, I don't think there's any, any difference except for in the Cossack, Dr. Cossack fight, in the Japanese version, he starts moving right away. But in the U.S. version, he stays put for a little while. Doesn't make much of a difference as far as speed strats go. And we're back to the Met stage, the Dowson paper cut stage, because not a lot of death situations here, but a lot of times where you can just make little mistakes that just slow you down. Yeah, and you want to be very con um, mindful of which Mets are the Dancing Mets and which Mets are the normal Mets because the Dancing Mets takes three hits, which, if you're going fast, would be a charge shot, while the regular Mets are just that one lemon to kill. Once again, press one if you're a Mets fan. Press two if you're a Red Sox fan. 
<laughs> Somebody yeah, we can see. We can see Vanez Prince doing some slide cancels because, like we said earlier, you can't jump out of your slide when you're underwater. So you need to cancel your slides by turning the opposite way. And we use Rush Jet to, to skip these Yoku blocks. And we keep it equipped so we could mash down these last uh, fabulous Mets before we switch to Ring for the final Met. The big guy. The Met Daddy. Ooh, Great John getting a fast jump. And he got frozen, so this is definitely a four cycle fight for him. Uh, Venez, that looks like a pretty fast one too, so I don't know how many hits he got in. Yeah, it's probably gonna be a four cycle. Wow, Great John had two eight, two uh, E tanks. I thought he only had the one. Okay, so it's a four cycle fight for both of them. Uh, Venez having a little bit better RNG. We saw there that Great John's Met Daddy stayed closed for quite some time. If needed, when is game three? Um, it should be right away. Um, I the, probably if the runners elect to take a quick break. Uh, but we should be up and ready. Shouldn't be long right after this one. Okay, so here in Wiley Two, this is known as the Rush Jet stage. We're going to be using Rush Jet here for the most part. And this game is one of the few games where we don't use Rush Jet as much as many of the other Mega Man games. And that's because you have Balloon. Balloon is such a good uh, weapon for moving about. Unfortunately, at this point of the game, we are really low on Balloon. Yeah, and uh, as we mentioned before, uh, you cannot shoot your lemon until uh, jet, uh, Rush has appeared. And so you have, you have to summon him first, and so you have to time your jumps and your movement according to that. So you don't want to assume you're going to have a lemon and then uh, Rush is not there, and you're going to end up with nothing. And both of them handling the bat room just fine with that Rush Jet hop. That room can be a pain. If you mess it up once, uh, you're kind of, you kind of, if you get the the fast bats, you kind of have to just reload the uh, room. Okay, and both of our runners choosing to stay on jet to mash down the gumball machines before they switch to toad, jump into this boss fight, fire the toad weapon while they still have control of Mega Man, which skips the HP filling of the boss, which saves a bunch of time. And then you switch to Drill, shoot the shoot the boss with Drill, which disables its hitbox for whatever reason. And that allows you to just stand inside of him and get free shots with the ring. It's, it's one of the freest fights once you know the speed strat, even though that's not the fastest strat. The fastest strat is to just fight him straight up with ring after the Toad Flush uh, HP skip. Yeah, and it's definitely a tougher fight because you kind of, you definitely still have to avoid the enemy as opposed to just staying behind them and just whacking them. Uh, Vanessa selecting to go for both health, uh, uh, both energy refills. Um, he's trying to play it extra safe as you will need uh, both uh, Ring and Dust for, for a good part of the stage. Yeah, Great John only got one large refill for Ring. Uh, he did get get another E tank though, so he's back to two E tanks, I believe. He's also topping off his health here. I don't think that's a bad option since you're gonna probably want to take health anyway after these boss fights. Okay, so again with the Pharaoh fight, you don't want him to jump around. But that's all RNG. 
supposedly there's data that says that if you stay stand close to the bosses, they are less likely to jump. At least that's what the top runners say. I wish that applied in Mega Man 6. <clears throat> it also encourages um, Drillman to dive less. Supposedly. Also, I'm, I don't know if it was mentioned, but um, uh, Skullman does have a variation on, on his uh, how long he holds his shields. So you can either get the short shields or you can get this very long one that you guys uh, saw uh, just now. I believe that was, was that the five second one or three seconds? That looked like the long one. And I was just thinking that, you know, Great John didn't top off, didn't get two ring refills. So he, he chose to get some ring and some dust and he actually ran out of dust, which cost him some time because he had to switch the buster to finish off Skullman. Okay, again, we we want to keep Bright Man at certain HP values to avoid him from from flashing the screen. That's why we hit him with a odd number of the Skull Barrier before we finish him off with the Toad Flush. And then we have one leftover Toad Flush ammo to hit Drill right when he does his initial dive. That does one HP worth of damage. And that actually works out because if we fight him with just his weakness, he'll have one HP at the end. So might as well get it out of the way, especially since we have the, the Toad Flush already equipped. Ooh, Vanessa getting an extra dive. Yeah, both of them getting some pretty bad RNG. And Toadman, the freest boss, only jumps as long as you shoot him. Okay, the way they manage their ring fights can turn this around. Okay, looks like Vanez is doing... Okay, he... Yeah, he missed a charge shot, but that's fine. He has plenty of barrel ammo. Let's see what Dustman decides. Yeah, I didn't think Vinez would do too many... Okay, yeah, he's not doing a second D-boost. He's just gonna wait it out. Yep, he chooses say... to get the health. Yeah, good. I would say that's a good choice as well. Oh, definitely. And uh, Greyjohn is low on health, so he doesn't actually have much options uh, if Dustman decides to suck. He could uh, take oh. one D boost. Oh, he got he got a good pattern, and he and he has a couple uh, E tanks. Dust man, what a bro. Yeah, it's not the best pattern because he stayed on the right side, but any sucks is a good pattern. I mean, no suck is always a good pattern. Okay, we didn't mention this earlier that the dive weapon on the second phase, even though it's the weakness, it can't actually hit the hitbox. You you are required to detonate the drill bomb right before it, it, it comes into contact with the Wily machine. So it does require some um, some timing. And also, I learned this the hard way, but even after you kill the boss, uh, after you kill the Wily machine and he actually throws a... a a shot at you, you still have to avoid it because uh, it will still hurt you and if you die then you go back to uh, the refight. You have to start all over with the Wily Machine. Yeah, it's very easy to double KO in boss fights in this game and it doesn't count if that happens, you have to redo it. Okay, so Vinez now in Wily 4, this is the final stage, not much of a stage, just this corridor that leads to Wily himself. And both of these runners are doing good on Pharaoh ammo, so I'm not too worried about them running out. Uh, Vinez does have a healthy lead, so I don't think even with bad... Ooh, as long as he gets a shot in, on each cycle, he should still take this. That was a really close for getting a double. That was a double, very nice. 
Nice. Yep, and that's GG Vinette. for Venez. And ladies and gentlemen, we have ourselves a third race, so it's not over. So I hope you didn't set your bedtime early because uh, we're not done yet. Nah, no bedtime during Mega Man. So GG to Great John as well. Uh, so both of them with a, with the 42 times. I'm sure they are not happy with those times, but uh, we do get to see a, a game three. Yep, and didn't I just mention that too? It's past Vanessa's bedtime, but hey, open those eyes and get that third race going. <laughs> yeah, man, brew a coffee real quick or or open up a, a five-hour energy. So that was an even closer race, at least for the most part. Uh, it started to separate right at the end, but almost, I would say, three quarters of that run was neck, neck and neck. Definitely, and um, the interesting thing is that that they have such vari variant strats that you actually get to see a lot of uh, lead changes, especially during the sync ups, as well. Yeah, yeah, that was a great race to compare strats because we literally got to see them side by side. Maybe there should be a gentleman's agreement for the third race. To include wire, since it's down to the wire, as some of our chat says. I am all for that agreement. Come on, guys. It's the last Kalinka Cup race. I guess you could say I'm wired up. Womp womp. I have worse ones, but I want to keep the audience alive. Is this the finals? This is the race for third place, the bronze match. The finals was yesterday. Uh, every time I hear that, my heart breaks, man. My heart breaks every time I hear that. Yep, my boy here, Resisting Frame, was in the finals yesterday. He came in second place. Waiter took first place, and the winner of this match will take the bronze, the third place uh, title, for the Kalinka Cup. Uh, there's still an, another Mega Man 4 tournament going on, the Cossack Cup, which is now reaching the finals. Is that match scheduled? Let me check. They should change my name to Resisting Gold. <laughs> okay, yeah, so the, after this race, um, there is one more Mega Man 4 race for our other cup, the Cossack Cup, and that is the finals. And that's between Ohan and Prizzy, which will take place uh, this Saturday at 8 p.m. Eastern. Is there a uh, bronze match in the Cossack Cup? Oh, there is. Okay, yeah, there is a bronze match, right? So there, so there are two more races then: the finals for the for the Cossack Cup, as well as the bronze match, third place match for the Cossack Cup, and that's between Not Riley and Becco. Those are going to be some uh, a pair of great races. Also, I uh, I believe they want us to uh, uh, to plug it in, guys. Um, uh, don't forget to check out the Matcherino. Uh, for the Cossack Cup. I believe there's a way to input the link on the chat, but I'm not too sure. I've seen it multiple times since I've been watching most of the races. Uh, but you can contribute to the Matcherino.
Or maybe I could find the link in the meantime. Yeah, man, stop giving our jobs away to bots. <laughs> Okay, so we are letting our runners prepare for the next race. And it is best two out of three. This is the third and final race between these two. The winner will take that bronze medal in the Kalinka Cup. There you go, guys. I have posted the match for Reno. So you can contribute. Um, you can contribute. Okay, looks like we're getting ready to start our third race, our tiebreaker. Once again, good luck to the runners. Thank you, Papa, for that reminder. So, reminder to use code COSSACCUP2020 to contribute 50 cents for free. So, just by using the coupon, you'll be helping out towards the Maturino. And, and here we go. Here we go. This is the winner takes all, guys. Any mistakes done here. And you're going to have a hard time. The pressure has mounted. Yep, it all comes down to this. Winner takes the third, third place of the Kalinka Cup. Loser goes home. Oh, they're probably playing from home anyway. Loser, um, <laughs> stays home. Wallows in their shame like I have. Yep, and, and again, we have the two route difference only here at the beginning of the, the race. Greyjohn doing Pharaoh first, while Vanez doing Bright first. And both of them are comparable, especially in a race setting where you're not going for this, the uh, most optimal dangerous strats that save just a couple seconds. Uh, this time Vanessa getting lucky with uh, the grasshoppers. Uh, they actually threw some early shots and he's actually able to de-boost and uh, use a slide on the spikes instead of waiting for the grasshoppers uh, to jump to the next one. Yeah, so if you get uh, short hops from the grasshoppers, your next best option is to wait for that totem pole, totem pole to give you a shot. And if it does, you can de-boost across the spikes. Uh, the, the grasshoppers jumping jumping high is better, and that's what you hope for, but, but that is a backup if you get the opportunity to get it. And chances are, if uh, the totem shoots and you get a long jump anyway, you won't be able to take the D-boost high up in the air. Yeah, if you get the, the high jump from the grasshopper, you want to just kill the totem as fast as possible before the shot comes out and lags. Uh, Great John getting a slightly better RNG now. Didn't have too many uh, jumps going around. Yep, and he, he did get the pixel. He didn't go for the animation skip again, uh, but he did manage to get the center pixel, which skips the actual jump of Mega Man to absorb the power. I, I wish every Mega Man game had the magic pixel at the end of the boss fight. Okay, so great. So now they just uh, switch stages. Uh, great John now in Bright Man, and Venez is in Pharaoh Man. And since Venez has the Bright Stopper weapon, he's able to freeze this screen and slide through the desert without having to deal with any of these enemies. Yeah, Venez was a little bit slow on setting up the Bright on the first screen, 
And so he actually did it while an, en an enemy was popped up, so he still took the damage from that enemy, but recovered well, so. Oh, Great John actually mashes down that, um, that g gumball machine. That that's not the official name, but <laughs> that's what we call him. Oh, that was a pretty good mash by Great John. We have carnival names here. Ukraine machine, bubblegum machine. Taco. But the taco is the official name. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so again, Great John not doing Pharaoh strats or Balloon strats, even though he has both of those. He's gonna choose to keep plus three equipped up until the boss fight. And Venez only having, uh, well, he has Balloon now, but Bright isn't useful for the second half of this stage, nor is it useful for the boss fight, so he's just gonna keep Buster on, and Buster fights this boss. So obviously with the Brightman fight, you want to um, make sure you avoid those HP values that make him uh, susceptible to freezing the screen. Oh, looks like he missed He messed up, so he, he just kind of mashed through at the end. Luckily he didn't get a freeze. And Venez out of Pharaoh. Okay, so Venez actually in the lead now, we can see. So once again, we're going to see um, uh, the, the differentiating stats. Um, if Vanessa has a good balloon, he should be able to take a little bit longer, a uh, little bit bigger lead. But we'll see. Uh, the balloons can definitely be tricky if you're not placing them on the right spot. Much better this time around. Yeah, that was actually a really good climb. Even though he got hit by that final turret, it was just the bullet shot, so he still has enough HP to go for all of the fast strats. And as you can see, uh, that put Vanessa at least one transition screen uh, forward ahead of John, so uh, small things like this, uh, small strat variations are definitely going to make the difference as the race goes on. Yeah, and Pharaoh's is still faster to uh, to get that D boost and skip those hippos. As we saw John, he, he's required to shoot a few of those platforms before he's able to jump on top. <clears throat> For those still writing in chat about the Kalinka, uh, this is the third place match. Uh, this is the third place match uh, going on, uh, best two out of three, and we're up to our final race. Um, the final was played yesterday, and uh, the winner of that race was Waiter. So for those just showing up, you can say your GG's to Waiter. Uh, yeah, we don't know what's wrong with the, the chat bot. Unfortunately, it doesn't seem to be working. Uh, but I will provide the links. So we're approaching now uh, the ring fight. Uh, Vanessa this time has uh, definitely uh, more health and more ammo. Yep, so he was able to take a contact damage, lose 8 health, um, which is perfectly fine. Uh, Great John doesn't have that option, but he had an okay fight as well. Yeah, and uh, taking, and taking damage uh, actually allows uh, Vanessa to keep ring in the middle, so you actually save even more time. Uh, by doing that. Yes, like we said, uh, the animation to collect the power at the end of a boss fight doesn't play until all of the boss's exploding particles leave the screen. That's why we want them to explode in the center of the room. Alright, and both of our runners using the bright strat and Dustman. 
one of my favorite strats. It's definitely uh, more consistent for me than the Pharaoh strat, simply because of this big hopper here in this in this room. If he, if he gives you the short hop and you get hit, it kind of throws off everything. But with Bright, you can just freeze him and the remainder of the screen for the most part. Yeah, and definitely uh, you can get some bad luck and get a lot of health drops, which actually make the screen lag more. Yep, and now we're going to see the Buster Strats here in the Crusher room again. Wow, look how look how Vanessa clears it so fast. Yeah, and as uh, if you guys recall watching the second race, uh, Ray John did have a death here, so I assume he's going to take it a little bit safer. Yeah, he already passed the column that killed him. And we see some lemon love over here. As we mentioned before, uh, Vanessa initially initially learned this game as a Buster only uh, percent, and then moved on to any percent uh, as uh, as he entered the tournament. So. Uh, that actually will provide Vanessa a huge advantage should he need backup strats, uh, as he already knows all the Buster-only um, methods. Yeah, he's primarily a Buster-only runner. In fact, uh, next month during the Triple M race, which is Mega Man 1 through 11, uh, Mega Man X 1 through 8, and Mega Man Zero 1 through 4, all in one sitting. Uh, Vanez Prince is going to play all of them in one sitting, Buster only, along with uh, our other BO Buster only friend, Kame, while the others do the regular any percent triple M, which is hard enough <laughs> that way. Imagine Buster only. Oh, definitely. And definitely the runners do have to be careful here. Uh, you don't want to be too early uh, or too late uh, when it comes to setting up the balloon for that sip. So if you're too late, uh, correct me if I'm wrong, if you're too late, you take the death. And if you're too early, uh, you just uh, you just kind of uh, buck off down. Yeah, so once again, uh, we can see Vinez Prince doing the traditional strats of using Balloon for the first half of the stage. Uh, while Great John, he did he did do the zip, but then he switches back to Buster. I find it interesting because you don't really need to kill anything. Yeah, it could just be it could just be being comfortable with the balloon. Uh, from my experience learning the game, um, definitely it took a while to get used to using the balloon. So it could just be just uh, not comfortable with it. So uh, Vanessa, we can see he's definitely comfortable using balloon. Yeah, and he managed to make his lead a little bit further because he was able to skip those long ladders that are in this stage, while Great John had to climb them up in their entirety. <clears throat> and uh, we see Vanessa again coming in uh, with low health, but. Um, Eddie did tank him this time around, and uh, I believe he does have any tank available. I'm not sure if he has enough to take contact damage, though. So no, it doesn't look like it. Void. Ooh. Yeah, he had just enough for one shot, which he which he was hit by. So that's fortunate. Um, he Great finished John. it up. Okay. Great John getting the five second shield. Yeah, and Vanessa had a really really short shield too. I think it was the fastest shield. So we can see that the strats, the difference in strats plus RNG helping Vinez out here. Uh, X7 Buster only, no zero. I actually don't know the rules for Buster only in most games actually. <laughs> Because Buster only has their own set of rules, so I would have to refer you to Kame. Okay, there he is. Alright, so here in Dive Man stage, it is water level, and like we said before, in underwater you are unable to 
jump out of your slides. So you want to cancel your slides or commit to it fully. Okay, and we see Vinez here canceling his slides before he goes into the spikes. So it's just something you want to keep in mind when, of course, you're trying to go as fast as possible. You want to slide everywhere. And Eddie being really generous today. Supply yeah. our E-Tank. E-Tank Eddie. I call him double E in those instance instances. And again, we are going to be using Bright Weapon to freeze these mini-boss whales as they come down. So we can mash them down before they even have a chance to show their face. So as we saw with this stage, as well as the remaining two robots, uh, we're going to be using Brightman's weapon for the most part to freeze rooms and get through them rather quickly. Okay, Vanessa needs to be a little careful here. Okay, both of them. Alright, that's, that's fine. Neither of them can afford body contact. This is a game that definitely teaches you social distancing. Uh, unless you try to uh, do the proximity trick to uh, encourage favorable RNG. Alleged favorable RNG. <laughs> That's true. So just like in Dive Man Sage, we are going to be switching to Bright almost immediately. Right after this first room. And you have just enough ammo to uh, complete the whole stage uh, using all of your bright. And um, again, the bright timer that freezes everything is only 5 seconds long, but it does not count down while you're sliding. So if your slide movement is good, you can effectively freeze rooms for the entire time you're in them. Uh, you do have to jump around, so that allows the timer to tick down, but for the most part, you want to be sliding and stretch that timer out as long as possible. But now it's this time getting the good turrets. They pretty much shoot on almost uh, on the first frame, right? Yes, I think it's the first frame that you have control of Mega Man on that ladder, transitioning into the room. Anything later than that, those turrets manage to get a shot out, and there's three of them. <laughs> okay, and this last log room is a testament to good movement. It really shows off how well each runner is at uh, their slide chains and keeping that bright stopper from counting down. Okay, and here with the Drillman fight, uh, this is the heaviest uh, RNG boss because he can choose to dive down as much as he wants, which loses four seconds each time. Yo, and Vanessa wow. getting. Wow. Yeah. I, I think this is the second straight time that he's got God Pattern on Drill. Yeah, that's the second diveless in the dive fight, at least, the dive stage. Wait, drill stage, drill stage. And Great John has just not been getting any luck with that. With, I keep confusing the two. <laughs> with uh, Drill Man. Drill Man has been very unkind to Great John throughout these actually three races. So uh, we're going to see how it pans out for him in the refights. Yeah, unfortunately, he had, what, uh, three dives? And, yeah, it was and he dives. wasn't counting. And Venez is on pace for sub-20 Robos, which is which is definitely PB pace. Is he? Sub-20? No. Yeah, he's on pace for it. Yeah. He's on pace for it, definitely, and uh, this is one of the stages where, like, the, the concept is pretty easy, but there's a lot, a lot of tricky jumps here. 
and you just want to be really careful. Again, electing to getting a lot of small drops, so electing to hold off on a lot of sliding. He only wants to take the short sure slides and not anything too close to the ledge uh, to assure he has proper time to react. And again, we are flashing the screen right when these mini bosses appear. Ooh. And we're able to skip them entirely. Yeah, yeah, I saw that. Great John <laughs> slid into the the one tile gap and he, he reacted just in time to turn around. That waterfall is pushing you down, so it seems you, you fall down there even faster than normal. And of course, if you uh, if you survive this stage, then you get rewarded with one of the easiest boss fights ever. And I believe this applies even without his weakness. So you can actually use Buster as well. Yeah, and Buster works. Mm -hmm. You can just keep shooting him with lemons and he'll never attack you. It's kind of a sad boss, you know. Kind of, you kind of have to question Wily on why he made Toadman like that, you know? Oh, I don't know about Wily, but I would say it's because his attack uses the whole screen. So it's kind of unfair. So, I guess they just gave us a way to avoid his attack. So yeah, both of them getting uh, sub-20 robos. Which is PB pace for both of our runners. So this is, this is good, good pace. Also, keep in mind that during the, the second half of this game, it's actually a higher death rate. You know, a lot of deaths tend to happen here more than uh, more than so than in the robo stages and they are definitely more costly so even a runner with a lead could essentially uh, get a swing by taking a costly death yeah the deaths in the end half of this game are very punishing especially since there are no checkpoints in the boss corridors so any deaths to bosses especially will send you to the uh, mid checkpoint room and as you can imagine, you have to redo a lot. So again here, we can see Vanez doing the Buster Strats, and Great John is going to be switching to the Safer Bright Strat. Oh, and that is exactly why people use the Bright Strat. To avoid the up and downs. And so that, and just like... Yeah, that really kind of syncs them up. Oh, oh no! Same spot. That's a that's really painful. I mean, it's the same room as the checkpoint, so it's not that bad. But oh man, he's just not getting the jumps uh, far off of the ledge to in order to to make it over the up and downs. He needs to slide just a little bit further before he jumps. Yeah, so, yes, to make it a, to make it over them. Right, and that's exactly why some people use bright. So yeah, that's that's a really that's really bad deaths there. That's definitely that's definitely tough, but um, like you know. And um, it looks like he unintentionally grabbed that ladder, so he was kind of stuck there. And yeah, he he wasn't able to to switch ladders. So ooh, yeah, this is gonna be a huge time loss. And we have Great John now uh, approaching <clears throat> approaching now the Cossack two. Oh my goodness, what happened to my numbers? <laughs> <laughs> um, for those putting the schedule, uh, once again, this is the final match of the Kalinka Cup. Uh, this is for third place. Uh, the final match occurred yesterday. And so this will be the final match. We do have the Cossack. Uh, I believe it's the final, right? Uh, yes, we have the Cossack Cup finals this Saturday at 8 p.m. Eastern. 
gonna be a very eventful weekend, guys. Okay, so at this point, um, even with the differences in strats, I don't think Vinez can make up the time here unless Great John gives a mistake. Even with this difference in strats and possible RNG outcomes, um, I don't think he can come back without Great John kind of maybe taking a death or something. So, Vinez doing the fastest strats with Balloon, where Great John did all of the rush jet, but, but yeah, he's good. He's quite a ways behind. We still have, uh, we still have, like, 15 more minutes to run. And Vinez again struggling on that balloon room. Uh, looked like Great John only was able to get three hits in that first cycle, so we might be seeing a three cycle fight on this square machine just like last race. And it's not looking like he's getting good RNG either. Oh, okay, he, he got this, this two cycle just in time. Wait, was it a 1 2? Look, I thought I saw more passes. I, wasn't, I was looking at Vanessa's screen. And Vanessa, unfortunately, getting a 3 with the opening pattern. Okay, it was a 1-2 for Great John. Alright, so, so yeah, that definitely helped his lead. Okay, Vinez getting a 3-2. So that's no help. Oh, and he just barely got the 2-cycle fight as well. And he had just enough health for the, for the damage boost required. Okay, it looks like my call commentator lost connection, so, um... So, yeah. <laughs> Alright, we're in Cossack 3 now. This is the auto-scroller stage. Uh, there is this one room here that isn't an auto-scroller. So you want to make sure you're not losing any time. Um, it, while you're in the auto-scroller, at least, you want to optimize it by reducing lag as much as possible and the way you do that is by killing enemies as soon as they spawn and refrain from shooting or moving too much And in this, in this stage, there's also some large energy refills, so it's a good opportunity to top off your ring ammo, which is very important at the end of the, at the, uh, the end, end game. And yeah, RF just DM'd me saying that his internet died. Okay, so Great John entering this fight with the Pharaoh shot charged. Um, again, he's he's choosing to stay on the left side, taking this very safe. He's throwing he's throwing a lot of full charge shots rather than using the the charge that shot above his head. So he's using up more ammo than than is necessary, but it's perfectly fine because uh, it seems that he's routed in the refill. For the pharaoh anyways and i am back fellas i apologize a little bit oh. of technical difficulties on my side well, I'm back <laughs> that was fast could be the just that the modem shut off Alright, and Great John, yes, he's refilling his Pharaoh here at the start of Cossack 4. 
a very good move since it is the weakness to the final Wily. Um, again, Venez Prince getting the better Cossack fight because he's able to... Okay, this is the best Cossack uh, 3 fight that, that we've seen so far. He got all of the proper overhead shots and he was able to get the quick, the fastest kill on the second cockroach. Did I miss anything, guys? Um, you missed a 1-2 square machine for Great John and a 3-2 for Venez. Okay. But no deaths. Yeah, so both runners have routed in that safety Pharah refill. I'm not sure if they do that in PB attempts, but they've done it in each of these races. And here is the... Some in the wire. <laughs> <laughs> Um, again, well, um, here in the Dr. Cossack fight, you want to slide, which prevents Dr. Cossack from moving left and right. So it's very useful to keep him in a position where it's easy to hit. Uh, Great John struggling to, to get to the left for that final hit. That was very close. Um, definitely, if he would have taken the death, he actually ends up a little bit close to, I believe, right where Vanessa's at right now. So I think. Uh, that boss fight is actually one of the least punishing out of the end ga end games uh, ones. Yeah, the checkpoint is right outside the boss gate. Okay, let's see if Vanez can have a clean fight. I actually don't know when Doctor Cossack shoots, so it's it's a bit hard to avoid the shots. But it's it's really easy to avoid getting grabbed, which is his main mode of attack. Okay, finishing him on the left side. That's that was a much better fight than what Great John had. Making up time little by little. And we are here in Wily One now. Now that we know that Wily is the actual villain of this game. And in this stage, all of the enemies are Mets. Little itty bitty Mets. And yeah, give us give our runners a follow. Again, this is the last, the final race of the Kalinka Cup. This is the race for third place. And this is the third race out of our best of three. So whoever wins this um, comes in our comes in third place for our Kalinka Cup. Also, if you want, you can also follow the commentators. So you know. Uh, Unfortunately, if you're following me, you're not going to see much Mega Man 4. <laughs> I am moving past that. And I'm not sh I think John actually gets on Rush Jet by accident. It's a little bit slower. Yeah, first of all, like summoning Rush Jet, which you have to do to in order to shoot, causes a little bit of lag. And then activating Rush Jet by touching him causes even more lag. Vanessa taking a quick pause after receiving health. You definitely want to be careful uh, in this, this tra uh, transition stage full of spikes. Much better met fight by John this time around. Yeah, it's still a four cycle, but better than last last run. Who was first? Not me, unfortunately. <laughs> um, <laughs> oh, it hurts my heart every time I hear that. Oh, um, I picked a good time to commentate. So, <laughs> so uh, the finals was yesterday. It was versus uh, me resisting frame and uh, waiter, and uh, waiter pulled the 2-0 uh, match versus me. So, uh, GG to waiter on that. Yeah. So go follow waiter and unfollow resisting frame. <laughs> Waiter's full handle is Waiter1602. 
<laughs> you rang? Well, I don't because I don't have any rings. I could have won one yesterday. I couldn't win the championship ring. Now, now my phone is on silence. <laughs> yep, so Waiter is first place. Resisting Frame is second place. And the winner of this will take third. Uh, I didn't get to pay much attention to Venez's Met Daddy fight, but I want to say he made up a little bit of time. Oh, great John not getting the rush hop. It's a bit tight to jump on rush jet quick enough, especially if you spot him facing to the left there. And there's a lot of little, little movement optimization that you can do with Jet because as soon as you make contact with Jet, he, he starts moving and if you overlap him, Rush Jet actually boosts you. Your, your walking is faster, your sliding is faster if, you, if he overlaps you. And we also use him to, of course, skip as much ladders as possible. Alright, so the Taco Trash fight, we enter the boss room with Toad Flesh equipped, which is a full screen attack, and we use it while we jump in the boss room, which actually hits the boss before his HP fills, and what that does is skip the animation of the HP, of the remaining HP filling, which is a huge time save because for whatever reason, this game has the slowest, the slowest rate of HP filling. And if you ever use an E-Tank, that costs you because having to wait for your HP fills is just as slow. <laughs> what is the Toe Flush? We're, we're saying the wrong names and confusing the, our audience. I'm mixing the two because because it's easier to understand. <laughs> no, <laughs> I, I, I really <laughs> thought it was Rain Flush. It Th doesn't matter. I mean, like, everyone calls Bright Stopper... Flash Stopper, or is that the Flash. real name? <laughs> flush is the flush, the Toad Stopper, guys. I mean, don't you like flush toads down the toilet? I thought that was, that's where it came from. <laughs> or is that barbaric and like Peter's that's gonna that's come cool. after me now? So we see Vanessa taking the double um, energy drop with the ring, filling up the ring. I'm Very gonna good. Mess up all of these weapon names. <laughs> so you see the dust garbo, garbo ball. The Garbo Ball shot, it actually uh, breaks into four shrapnel when it comes in contact with enemies. And you actually can't shoot again until that top left shrapnel leaves the screen. That's the only one that, that really matters. So you want your Pharaoh fight to be on the left side of the screen. So you can shoot um, as fast as you possibly can. But of course you have to be mindful of iframes, so... Oh, that's a very... A fair fight for Venez, all the way on the right side. And since the Toad Flush is a pretty slow weapon to use against Bright, even though it is his weakness, we want to enter the fight with the remainder of our Skull Barrier weapon. And just hit Bright Man with an odd number of it, which will avoid his, will avoid the HP values that cause him to to use his Bright Stopper. <laughs> and it looks like Great John is having a much better RNG this time around. Patience, I had to say, commentary curse. <laughs> He still he still has to be careful with uh, his berserk missiles because they go berserk. Yeah, 
Yeah, so great John um, passing the the last bit of major RNG, which was drill man. So his lead, I would say, is it's looking pretty secure right now. And um, Drunk Missile is the other weapon. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, let's see how uh, what kind of RNG uh, Dustman gives John this time around. He got the jump, and uh, what you want to do is quickly slide to the left to stay on the left side uh, to avoid him from jumping back to the right like that. But that's, that wasn't that bad of a fight. And he has pretty good health and ammo. And he has enough flesh ring to finish the, the fight as well. So, the first phase. Yeah, so he's using the, uh, the sonic ring. <laughs> <laughs> the sonic ring to, uh, to delight our ears with that noise. Oh, he actually ran out of rings, so he had to finish the first phase with Drill. And Venez unable to take any debuts, so he's losing a bunch of time from the sub patterns that he's getting from Dustman, which is very unfortunate. His health is really low. He can't take another hit. Oh, uh, no. He should be fine here. But oh, still... please, please finish him off. Okay. Oh, no. Oh. So, Get Great John has a, pretty... <laughs> he has a pretty secure lead, uh, pending any any uh, any mishaps with the big ball, um, there shouldn't be any problem. Yeah, Vanessa has to watch his health here as Great John comes into the final Wily fight. He's going to be equipping the Sunny Delight weapon and taking out Capsule with that. So we're probably looking at a mid-41 here. Missing missing some double opportunities there, but he he has enough ammo, he should be fine. Oh, and there we go. And the fin Wait, I think these guys. Okay. Okay, yeah. I thought he PB'd again, but I was still thinking of his leaderboard PB. He already PB'd earlier with the 40. So GG, great John. Okay, and um, let's just switch over to Venez really quick. He actually ended up being... Yeah, and Venez doing really well with his Sunny Delight ammo. Who shot me? Yeah, it does look like a grapefruit. And there we go. So GG to Venez. A great set of three races from these runners. Make sure you guys give them a follow. I'm pretty sure both of them are going to grind this game a little bit further. Um, we'll see if they can join us for a interview.
Okay, it looks like both of them will be joining us for an interview. Yo, yo. Yo, and we are joined here with Venez, right? While my co-commentator, Resisting Frame, drops off. <laughs> yo, what's up, Venez GG? Oh, man. Thanks, man. Thanks for the GG. Thanks for commentating, by the way. <laughs> hey, no problem, man. They were really fun to watch. Uh, really <laughs> close races, for the most part. They only started to uh, separate towards the end. Um, yeah, how do you no. Feel, how do you uh... feel about them? Well, I choked a few times, and then on the last race, I was in really good pace, and then Kozak won. Just that one death resulted to two more deaths because I just lost my composure, and then, like, no, you best after that. Yeah, it was really interesting to see because you do the traditional strat with, with the Buster, while uh, Great John does the safe strat with Bright. So he was doing Cossack 1 really safe with Bright, and it actually worked out in his favor. Oh, went after you died three times. <laughs> yeah, no, like I, I'm normally decent at that section, but I guess I, I jumped slightly too early, and then the thing that comes out of the ground just like hit me, and then it happened two more times. I'm like, oh man, not here, not now. <laughs> oh, I, and... I was in the wrong channel there. Gotcha. <laughs> hey, yo, hey, great, great job. Thank you for joining us, GG, and congrats on taking third place in the Kalinka Cup. Oh, thank you so much. Oh, <laughs> that was a long <laughs> run. <laughs> no and kidding. Was, frame of that. <laughs> was hoping it would go too, you know. <laughs> no, it was fun. You, it was a lot of fun. Yeah. Were either of you watching the race? No, I was not. <laughs> I already get nervous as it is, and if I was to watch it, it would just make me even more nervous. <laughs> Yeah, I have it on, but I, I always get like so flustered if I'm sitting there. Like I, I find myself watching it too much, and I'm like, okay, I just gotta play. I just gotta concentrate. <laughs> yeah, it definitely, it's definitely worth a, a watch, especially race two. It was so synced up. Uh, both of you guys had early death, and, <laughs> and <laughs> that actually made you guys sync for pretty much the rest of the run. <laughs> Yeah, that, yeah, that, that second run right. was, <laughs> That second run was so close. It was crazy because I took a dumb death on Pharaoh and uh, like I, I was, I got squished on dust. So that was that was the tough one. Yeah, I got a, the early death on the first screen in Bright, and then I died against Skull Man. <laughs> yeah, it just happened. Mine was more costly. Looks like. Yeah, <laughs> just by a then... few. It was what twelve second difference. Oh yeah, it was it was real so close. close. No. Like it, good drill luck would have would have helped me out. I got good square machine <laughs> luck on that last one. Finally, yeah, you had a, a one two, I believe, and in the meantime, um, Venez had a three cycle fight with really bad RNG. So that I didn't get a three record. cycle. Wait, you didn't? I oh, got no, like wait, like wait, it goes three the ways. Race? The second race. Yeah. It, I got I, I got I, three cycles back in race. I did two cycles oh, to all oh, three oh, races. Oh, yeah. Okay, yeah, I'm, I'm, that's the third race I was talking about oh. that synced you guys back up. <laughs> Give him credit, man. Yeah. <laughs> so, 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 yeah. first, so first I want to know, like, Vanessa, what was your mindset when you took uh, the multiple deaths in the co the first Cossack stage on the third, third race? Like, what was your mindset at that point? I lost all composure. I just got so mad and, like, I, I felt like I got robbed and then like, I don't know, sometimes it feels like the inputs drop or something, but like at the same time, it was just me be not playing to my best in that stage. It just feels like, I don't know, but I press jump, but sometimes it just won't jump. And then I just lost full composure, man. Like, and then just trying to regain that back just took me a bit. So two more additional deaths there. And then like, okay, no, you better get back in the game. 
Oh, uh, definitely. This it was it definitely was the defining moment of race number three, and uh, you know, definitely it, uh, you had to leave for pretty much uh, a lot of that point up to that point. You know, so it was tough. It was tough. I felt like yeah, I, I was catching up, but then like on the refights, dust man. Oh my god, dust man. <laughs> <laughs> well, uh, yeah, well, you the, couldn't afford the the D boost. Yeah, to be fair, uh, Great John actually didn't have our good RNG throughout the three races until like the very end. So oh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so it actually thing and uh, Great John. So you PB'd on on I believe it was the very first race, right? You you actually got an actual PB on the first race. That's correct. Yeah, it was, that so, was a that was a PB. That was a huge one too. Was, it was like nineteen was, seconds. Yeah, that was a that was a really great run. What was your mindset on the second run? Like, did you feel like any extra pressure? I was mentioning there, like you know, the different mindsets that maybe runners have when they're uh, running races. You know, some may feel relaxed after the second race. You know, winning the first one, some feel actually more pressure. What was your mindset going through? Yeah, I definitely wasn't relaxed. I, I was I was like trying to reset in my mind, like, oh, you know, this is just a totally new race, got to start over. It's like I wasn't sitting there going, oh, okay, now I got this in the bag. I'm glad I didn't because that, that was a that was a tough run, and I think we both were just like a little little flustered in that race, and like had, had <laughs> yeah. some frustrating deaths really early on. That never helps. Like it gets you right in that mindset of like, oh, this is gonna be awful. So. Well, what I felt after like the first death in the very first screen, I'm like, okay, the worst just happened, so just go for it and just don't miss balloon, please don't miss balloon. <laughs> the best uh, yeah, part I of the nearly race. got sniped. I think my very first game where I had to like slide back and jump jump over again. <laughs> oh yeah, and you didn't use coil strats at all for the for the balloon jump. No, no, I like to live dangerously, but sometimes, right? yeah, pretty ballsy. sometimes it burns me for sure. RF, I told you I wasn't gonna play it safe this time around. <laughs> hey, you play good, man. You play good. I, I, Even with really... all these deaths, it's still faster than my when I race waiter. So I'm, I'm okay. I'm not too disappointed with myself. I made it this far in the tournament, and I'm actually happy with myself, especially since I'm I've been kind of on hiatus with speed running and whatnot. So yeah, you played yeah, some great run, friends. It's definitely something to be proud of, and it was great to see how the strats compared because you two had a lot of different strats throughout the throughout the runs. Yeah, like yeah, I, yeah. I, I've been doing Pharaoh first like forever, and it's mostly just preference. I I like playing that one, so I, yeah, I had meant to ask and like just did right before the race of like, hey, are you bright first or Pharaoh first? Because that'll be <laughs> fun. <laughs> and you also use bright in at the beginning of ring, while uh, Venez uses balloon. And both of you use Buster in the Crusher room, and oh, we, nice. that was actually synced. I've never seen that before. A synced Crusher room <laughs> Buster Buster strat. Yeah, and no, I tried learning the ring strats, but sometimes the ring just doesn't go the way you want it to go, and it just um, I'm not used to it yet. <laughs> I, I learned that the hard way yesterday. <laughs> but, um, <laughs> I have a practice um, much with ring and dust, so yeah, I just go with what I know. Yeah. So, John, did you do any st uh, strats different in this in this race uh, than than what you usually do in your PB runs, or did you strict uh, did you stay strictly with your PB uh, strats? No, I didn't really have anything safe. I, I did take. I think it was in the first run. I just took a, a safety E tank. So that that's the only safety thing I really do is I might grab a couple extra E tanks just because I ended up having to use one on like Met Daddy. I think one of those times and I was just like, oh, glad I had that. So. Like I know there's some free ones, but that's that's pretty much all I've been doing. Um, and my sum of best is like so much different than my PB right now. So it's basically the races are almost PB runs for me. But there's there's times I hesitate for like dangerous jumps and things like that. But that's the Spawnman jump. <laughs> yeah, the yeah. Spawnman jump. Yeah, that's oh, definitely man. one of the ones that. Yeah, that's definitely one of the jumps that is definitely scary. A lot of scary jumps too. You know, mm -hmm. you have the the lag room jumps. You know, so. Yeah, very, I like scary jumps, <laughs> but I don't like some of the more advanced strats yet. Sliding on spikes or anything. Yeah, it did seem like the uh, the jet strat that you do in Cossack 2 was well practiced. Oh. Like you do go for that regularly. Yeah, I do. Absolutely. And last question, guys. Uh, what's what's next for you guys? What's 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 next on the agenda for you guys? Uh, uh, honestly, 30, for me, I want to. 39. Yeah, 39. <laughs> That's what I want to go for is the 39. Mm. Yeah, I'm like obviously super close to 40s, but yeah, I'm, I'm looking for sub 40 as well. Probably going to take a break from this game for a little bit. 
Yeah, I'm yeah, gonna be I'm... going back to some Buster only stuff to participate in Triple M with Kame and Polta Hole later. Later in August. Nice. Awesome. Nice. So looking forward, guys. Looking forward to your progress in Mega Man 4 if you continue it. I know I won't. But uh... <laughs> 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 oh man, um, yeah, and uh, looking forward to the Triple M. Yeah, again, okay. awesome. GG, GG to both of you, and congrats, Great John, on taking third place in the Kalinka Cup. Yeah, yeah congrats, man. It was a, it was really fun. It was fun. Yeah. Super fun, like like I'm just so so relaxed now that it's over. But <laughs> thanks to you, commentators, for uh, sticking around, Mellow and and Frame. Hey, no problem. Yeah, if you thanks, guys. guys. Yeah. Uh, if you guys have any shout outs or any last words you'd like to share. No, th thank you, commentators. Thank you, Speed Gaming. Thank you, viewers. It was a great tournament. I had <laughs> real a lot of fun. It was very hype. And till next time. <laughs> Yeah, man, I think you have a knack for any percent. You should do some more any percent. <laughs> I will, I will. I, I do both. I do both. <laughs> well, well, thank you guys for putting on a, a great set of three races. Yeah, uh, thank and, you, uh, Speed Gaming. Thank you, Resisting, we... for joining me. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, just one final word, guys. Just uh, make sure to contribute to the Matcherino, guys. I'm putting the link out. Uh, the Matcherino is for the Cossack uh, Cup, so uh, make sure you guys... Uh, you guys can check out the Matcherino and contribute. You can also uh, use the coupon code, which I will put also, and you can contribute uh, 50 cents for free, I believe, on that. So feel free to uh, use that coupon code. Yes, this that. this is the last race of the Kalinka Cup, but we still are finishing up our Casa Cup for Mega Man 4, and the finals for that is this Saturday at 8 p.m. Eastern, and that's going to be between be between Ohan and Prizzy. Yeah, looking that's forward cool. to that one. That's going to be a sick run. That's going to be very that's sick. Be really hype. Yeah. Keep the Mega Man Four hype going. <laughs> it's just some world record holders, you know. <laughs> yeah, yeah, no big no deal, big right? Deal. <laughs> it's going to be a lot of fun, guys. So, uh, on that note, guys, thank you guys for watching. Thank you. thank you guys for having us. All right. And thank you, Looking Toad, for organizing this. Yeah, thanks. And everyone have a good night. GG again. Good night. See ya. Good night. Yes, this, this is the last race of the Kalinka.